Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Unreal Engine. And the Unreal Engine is used for games, films, interactive installations, and so much more. It's incredibly powerful software. And one of my favorite features is it's free. So we are in the Epic Games software right now, which is how we access Unreal Engine. And you can see that there is this incredible learn tab, which is filled with resources, um, documentation, community wiki. There are some really cool projects that you can download, take apart, put back together to understand how they work. There is also a marketplace, which is a terrific place to get assets um, and different sorts of environments, some of which are free, some of which cost money. But remember, if you are paying, that you are paying artists, which is always a good thing. And most importantly, we have the library tab where we have our engine version. So maybe every six to eight months, Unreal comes out with a new engine version. You can have multiple engine versions installed. If you have used Unreal before, your previous projects will show up here. And if you haven't used Unreal before, you won't have any projects. So I'm going to go ahead and launch 425 today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So these are some of my more recent projects, but I'm going to start a new one today. I'm going to use the game category. I'm not necessarily making a game, but this is a really good base to start from. So we have all sorts of different templates. So first person, which puts you in sort of a first person shooter game. We have this classic rolling physics-based game template that you can use. Things for AR, you can get the car, VR, but we're just gonna start with plain old nothing. So there are two different ways you can interact with your project, either through Blueprints or C++. And if you start with Blueprints and wanna add C++ later, that's very simple, but we're just going to use Blueprints today maximum or scalable, this computer can handle it. So we're gonna do maximum quality. I'm going to disable ray tracing for now because we're not gonna get there today. And then either desktop or mobile, I am on a desktop. Starter content, starter content just includes a bunch of assets to help you get started. This is something you do not wanna include in every project because it's 600 megabytes and that can add up really quickly. But because this is our first project and we are getting started, I think it will be helpful. You wanna keep mind of where this project is being stored. If you do not want it stored here, you can simply browse for a new folder, but this folder works for me. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. Oh boy. So I'm gonna spell, there we go. And I'm going to create the project. Okay, great, and now I am in my project. I get some starter content, I have some weather here, and I've just created my first Unreal project. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up some levels and get started. 